Domain registry company finesses new Bitcoin rival out of their com. The domain registry company Angel, LA, Aka Angela has been cast into the spotlight of cryptocurrency for their finessing of Mahler's com from the Mahler's cryptocurrency project, now relocated to Mahler's CC. The project's original domain shut down abruptly with no explanation. The strange event worried some crypto investors, but a PSA was issued to clarify the issue. Via Twitter today, an answer to all those questioning what happened was shared via X formerly Twitter. Why Mahler's com switched to Mahler's CC. HTTP slash slash Mahler's com. The domain was hijacked from us by a rogue domain registry service that has in their T and C they actually own our domain. We are fighting to get the domain back but until then, we're focused on building HTTP slash slash Mahler's CC is our new domain brand. This was only a part of the full tweet but after seeing this, the obvious thing for traders to do is research who is Angela Domain Registry and are they legit. In a quick search of the company with the word scam or Angel, less stealing domains, the search results are shocking. Apparently the decentralized like domain registry isn't a registry at all, though they maintain the shell appearance of one. Instead the company buys domains for clients and puts it in their own name, retaining ownership of their domains without them knowing. Unless however a client happens to read the About Us page, which really has nothing to do with the buying process typically. On Angela's About Us page the company explains and virtually protects themselves against lawsuits without making it clear who owns the domain. For instance, when you register a domain name in our system, we can register with our own data. We will be the actual registrant of the domain. It's not an ownership by proxy as found with all other providers. However, you will still have full control over the domain name. You can either use our information and our name servers or you can go with your custom data. And you can move at any time. Simple, flexible. The slick description of the company, which is not made clear on the sales page to customers, has put the Mahler's com domain in jeopardy. And not just Mahler's, but hundreds of others are complaining about the company on SEO forums, Trustpilot, and Reddit see here alike. Who owns Angel? LA. It's also been discovered by some recently, the founder and owner of the company is none other than Peter Sund. If you are unfamiliar with the name, he's the co-founder of the scrupulous internet site Pirate Bay, another project with a jaded past. Cryptocurrency supporters of the Mahler's project however may be the biggest rival to the company they've ever faced. Thousands of investors can lose a small percentage of potential ROI gains from the loss of the domain. A com tends to be viewed as more trustworthy than something like Mahler's CC. Though CC is more descriptive of cryptocurrency, on the other hand, Brazil investors may not be swayed, but generally no investor wants to see an entity try to put blemish on a diamond gem they found, no matter what the case. Investors money can't be stolen from Mahler's token Brazil wallet. As for the nearly half a million dollars raised thus far for the dollar Mahler's token project, all investments are still secured. In the tweet made earlier today by Mahler's developers, it was made very clear all investors funds remain unbothered by the domain debacle. All funds are 100% safe. This event has done slash does no harm to the actual token project nor the money contributed in the token presail, reads a second line from the tweet. The inexperienced may not realize how token presail funds are stored, but it's not on the actual domain itself. All cryptocurrency, even from initial coin offerings, is stored in a crypto wallet who has a special key to access it. Alongside that wallet key, the smart contract used to bridge payments adds security to ensure funds go to the right place. The Pirate Bay in Enjau. La founder cannot access Mahler's funds by stealing the Mahler's com domain. Why is Enjau Lan Peter's son stealing domains? The reason for stealing so many domains from clients is probably some sort of back-end profit to domain hijackers. Once a domain's brand has become big enough to generate hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars via type-in and SERPs, it is massive value. Domains like Mahler's com can be resold on the black market for massive amounts of money. In highly competitive niches like cryptocurrency, Peter Sun and company could also profit by taking backdoor payments from rival brands. A five-figure payment to Snipe A. Competitor's domain is a lucrative business for a fake domain registry company. Where to buy Mahler's now? Regardless, investors can visit www.mahler's.cc for the latest updates on the Bitcoin Alternatives token for sale. The original domain may be returned to the creator of the Mahler's token project in the future. To date the dollar Mahler's ICO has raised nearly $520,000 USD and is on track to selling all 4 million tokens of the available per sale supply by the end of this month. Disclaimer, the industry talk section features insights by crypto industry players and is not a part of the editorial content of CryptoNews.com. Follow us on Google News.